I'm in Marlebone in central London to visit one of the country's top hair salons. Known as the King of Colour, Daniel Galvin specialises in hair colouring and opened his salon in 1977. I'm here to meet operations manager Stephen Nurse to find out why apprentices are such an important part of the business. Over 70% of our current workforce all started as apprentices. We spend a lot of time and effort making sure we recruit the right people who are going to represent our brand for future generations. The salon has a team of over 100 stylists and colourists and takes on up to 15 school leavers each year for its Level 2 hairdressing professional apprenticeship. It's a free year programme that includes completing two NVQs with training provider Central Hairdressing. The single biggest challenge for any apprentice coming into the industry is coming into a very sophisticated adult workplace. They finish school and there is no six weeks summer holiday. It's bang, they're kind of straight into work and working relatively hard can compared to a school day, that's for sure. During our interview process, I always encourage the parents to come along because this is going to be a three-way partnership with the apprentice, with us, and with the parents because they are going to need parental support for at least the first three years. We believe quite firmly that hairdressing's best learn in salon. So from day one, they are on the salon floor, shampooing, supporting our senior team, learning on the job. And a lot of hairdressing is how you interact with people they're getting those social skills and they learn how to communicate. We pay the apprentice training rate, but of course the other advantage of hairdressing is you can get some really attractive tips, so that always helps the apprentice buy themselves some lunch and with their travelling expenses. 17-year-old Nevaeh Williams started her apprenticeship at Daniel Galvin in September 2023 and is training to be a hair colourist. It's daunting on the first day and you're hearing all of these different colours being said to you and you're hearing all of these different things and you're like, I don't understand this, this is literally a completely different language. But as you go on, when you're watching people on your first few days, you do pick up on things so, so quickly. Nevea is now into a familiar daily routine which begins with preparing clients' colours. Every client has a formula written on a card and that's logged for however many years they come to the salon. So we get them all out of our seniors and we'll bring through their client. The senior will talk to them and then we will mix their colour in the back. There's never a day that goes slow in here because it's always pretty fast paced. The first few months are hard and you're knackered, but you do slowly just get used to it naturally. Nevea still has two more years to go on her apprenticeship, but she's grateful to Daniel Galvin for the start it's given her already. Because it's taught me so much. I didn't think there was so much science behind it all, but it's opened my eyes and made me realise you can do so much with hair. So it's been great. I'm Ted Harmwell. I am 17 years old and I'm doing the hairdressing apprenticeship at Daniel Galvin. probably first started thinking about hairdressing when I was say about 12, 13. I was always sort of interested, you know, at the barber shop. I used to look a lot and see. And I always thought it was a cool, cool, creative job to do. When in lockdown, everyone was cutting their siblings' hair, I really enjoyed that. And that's what sort of got me into it a little bit. After doing a Saturday job, Ted started his apprenticeship at Daniel Galvin and is training to become a hairstylist. During the day, we shampoo the clients, we comb them through. Sometimes you diffuse their hair for the client. Sometimes if the client's running late, you blow dry it. On the Tuesdays and Wednesdays, we do our own model night where we get to practice cutting hair. I think the hardest thing is just making sure you're on the ball all the time, making sure you keep on top of things, not slacking off. Ted has already been recognised for his hairstyling. We did a hair competition last year. It was themed with Daniel Galvin's book. So I tried really hard there and it was a brilliant opportunity to show off to the seniors what you can actually do. And yeah, and I won that competition. There's so many things I could do with this job. I could be, I would like to do some session work. One of the blokes here was working with Little Mix. That's, that's amazing, I'd like to do that. I've also had a little thought of maybe in the future of owning my own salon. All sorts of things I could do. Lani Gear is 21 years old and works at Daniel Galvin as a colourist. She's been with the salon since leaving school five years ago. I started thinking about going into hairdressing when I was 15. I had a Saturday job in Essex, just a local little salon. Ended up falling in love with it. I came to Daniel Galvin, I think, because every, everyone has always told me that if you want to do hairdressing, go up London. 
had a, interviews at other places, tried other places on trial days and stuff, but nowhere's like here. It's a big family. It's very comfortable. It's a nice place to work. Lani's apprenticeship began in September 2019 and she soon found out which direction she wanted to take. So my apprenticeship was very full speed. They always are. You learn cutting and colour. I ended up choosing colour. You have the first couple of months trying both of them out and I couldn't think of anything worse than blow drying hair all day. Doing an apprenticeship made such a big difference. People I know have gone to college and they're still in college or still in uni or they haven't got this job that they want to get. At the end of your apprenticeship everyone has a test so you're not guaranteed to work here but if you pass everything and you do well you are then offered a place. Since successfully achieving her apprenticeship Lani has been working with her own clients and is ambitious for the future. At the moment I've only been on the floor for like a year and a half, two years so I'm a colourist. There's six other levels that you can go up to to a senior colour director. I want to have my clientele and be busy to the point where I have that waiting list for clients and things like that. Daniel Galvin himself is very proud of the hundreds of apprentices he's recruited and trained over the past 47 years. I don't think hairdressing is just a job. It is a complete career. It's something you need a lot of passion for. If you've got that passion, we are going to bring it out of you. We've got apprentices that actually became senior colorists and senior hair cutters that now work in New York, in Los Angeles, in Japan, in Australia. We train people in our salon from school knowing nothing and now they're all over the world. The best thing about employing apprentices to me is seeing them grow. They come in here and not only do we teach them how to do hair, we give a lot to them by trying to bring out the best in them, the way they treat a client, well, how they speak to a client. We see them grow into incredible, very, very busy senior hairdressers. It's, it's a great challenge. It's hard work. You can be, become very, very successful. Most of my staff have ended up being trained here from school and they've brought their own properties, got their own houses, nice cars, and it's all through hard work. <laughs>